So let's take a cruise to the Buffalo City TVET College campuses. And we're going to go via the Buffalo River, which is a river port, which means that it's quite easy for boats to kind of get access up the river. And as I was making this Google Earth video and kind of tracking the path through, I found weirdly that the camera angle could go right under the bridge. Now, for some of you just watching these videos, that doesn't seem like a great thing, but I promise you for someone who's actually making the videos, it caused some excitement in both me and Leon, a mate of mine who's making these videos with me. So let's lift off and get first sight of Buffalo City. And to firstly say that it's historically been caught in massive struggles between on the one side the cause are having moved down and settled here and then slowly but surely meeting small groups of Boer trackers and then the British colonials coming into this territory and claiming it for themselves. So a great period of struggle over this very particular piece of land. In fact, the harbour only became really valuable and the British became interested in it when they were able to use it as a place to drop off weapons and supplies to fight in the Seventh Frontier War. So now this Buffalo City TVET College has only got three campuses and they all tend to offer the same subjects. They haven't differentiated the campuses off. And also to say that they've been really struggling with accommodation. That's been a central issue. When the parliamentary group came and visited the residences, they were absolutely horrified by the state of the residences. And a fortune needs to be spent on the residences themselves. And you can see that the King Street campus is located right next to Selborne College, which is one of the most privileged and elite schools in the country. So let's sweep across now to the St. Mark's campus. And just to say that Buffalo City provides a whole range of programs. They offer all the business programs. You can do finance, economics, accounting. You can do education and development, which is that kind of childcare qualification. You can do office administration and tourism and IT. Mechatronics, where you can hear is kind of a combination of mechanical and electrical engineering, where you kind of learn how to work with a robot or something like that in its complexity. Really worthwhile program. So let's pull out of East London, which the apartheid government tried to make completely white, and off to the place where they tried to force the black people to relocate towards, the township of Mdansane in the 1960s. And this was also the border of the Siskai. Notice that they left Old East London out with the harbour, precious resource, that's white. This area, black, provide labour, for the richer white areas. Now, this campus is named after John Knox Bokwe, and he was a famous cause uh, hymn writer. He's composed the most beautiful hymns. He was also a great journalist and evangelist, and he's connected quite strongly with the Lovedale College, which you'll find out about in another video. And he grew up as a youngster with James Stewart, who was the headmaster of the Lovedale College and was trying to transform Lovedale from a more elite academic curriculum for black students into a more vocational and community-oriented curriculum for black students. A very controversial move, which we have to grapple with as we think about vocational education. But there's two other controversies I want to explore as we visit Buffalo City. And the first one is I want to pull out and visit the industrial development zone, which is an attempt by Buffalo City to try to create infrastructure with all sorts of laboratories and innovative hubs and conference centers to attract business to that area. And you can see it right in front of you. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the East London Science and Technology Park, because in that zone is the MSC Artisan Academy. Now that's a private TVET college and it's highly innovative in what it's trying to do. So it's currently working with a lot of online and blended learning for a lot of the theoretical learning and then combines that with quite rigorous and high quality practical and work integrated learning training. And you have the situation in South Africa where as we're struggling to produce the right set of artisanal skills within our public setup, what happens is private start to step up and try and show that they can do it better. 
but far more impressive than the MSC Artisan Academy is the Mercedes-Benz Learning Center, located right next to the Mercedes-Benz factory, which is producing hundreds of thousands of luxury cars for the world and using the harbor as the export base. Now, Germany has a deeply impressive vocational education system uh, where they emphasize high skills, they emphasize pride and they emphasize professionalism with a lot of orientation to doing stuff on the job. And we have a situation where Mercedes-Benz has to do community engagement in Buffalo City. They have to have social investment. So what happens is you've got this incredible combination of the need to show those commitments and also the skill levels behind the vocational education, which they come from in Germany, informing that learning center. And the question becomes, how does that work in relation to our TVET colleges? Now, that Mercedes-Benz Learning Center does offer Buffalo City College work integrated learning opportunities. But you land up in a situation where you start to have to think about how private initiatives, big firm initiatives like uh, Mercedes-Benz and public initiatives like Buffalo City College have to work together at the same time.